you're listening to Fast Facts Perio Edition. And now, here's your host, Katrina Sanders. Hello, and welcome to Fast Facts Perio Edition. This week, we're going to unpack an interesting research study. This actually is an individual case report that was discussed in women's health. Buckle up buttercups this week. We are talking about pelvic infection caused by periodontitis, question mark. That's right. We are looking at a research study. This is kind of an interesting research study of a uh, 48-year-old woman. And this patient came in to the emergency room complaining of abdominal distension and pain for 14 days after the delivery of a dental implant. So patient comes into the hospital and a pelvic ultrasound was done and multiple inflammatory evaluations, laparoscopic surgeries were done, kind of taking a look at all of these complications. And within this, the patient is diagnosed with a severe pelvic condition It is important to note that when the bacterial cultures of both the blood and vaginal secretions were evaluated, that there were extremely high levels of Porphymonas gingivalis, Campylobacter rectus, Fusobacterium nucleatum, and Actinomyces. We know that most of these bacteria are primarily found in the oral cavity. And of course, accordingly, the patient was in fact diagnosed with periodontitis previously. The patient then was subsequently diagnosed with get this, pelvic infection stemming from periodontitis via blood transmission. It is important to note, you're all thinking it, so I'm just going to say it out loud for all of you, that the patient did in fact report only a history of previous perio, then a history of dental implant placement one month prior, and the patient reports no history of oral sex. So this really starts to drive home some of the key concerns now about the vast numbers of various systemic or in this particular case, acute infections that can in fact occur as a result of this bacteria being kicked up into the bloodstream and being able to reside in other warm, moist areas of the body. I hope all of you are enjoying your drive into work with this conversation, but nevertheless, it truly drives home the importance. We recognize that we do, in fact, talk to patients who do, in fact, experience gynecological complications things from endometriosis, PCOS, chronic bladder infections, chronic candida infections. And now with the knowledge that there is at the moment, at least one case report of a patient who has experienced pelvic infection due to periodontitis via blood transmission, now it becomes even more important for us to carefully educate our patients on the concerns of not just oral colonization of bacteria, but also the systemic implications ranging far beyond aspiration pneumonias, gastrointestinal infections, uh, far beyond cardiovascular issues, stillborn miscarriage, fetal deaths, et cetera. But more specifically, looking at what occurs when this bacteria is able to create such acute infections. The Final statements in this research discussion are in fact looking at could this be a critical moment for researchers to now dive into what could be occurring from a colonization standpoint during pregnancy? Is there a key contributory factor here for women experiencing gynecological complications who are more prone to potential pregnancy complications as well? So stay tuned as we begin looking at bacterial cultures back and forth between 
oral disease, and bacterial cultures of pelvic pus. This has been another episode of Fast Facts Perio Edition with Katrina Sanders. Please feel free to reach me on Instagram at the dental wine genist or on my website, www.katrinasanders.com. Cheers.